Good morning and welcome to Real Estate Radio with Kelly Warren and Associates where we are talking about real estate right here in the Mahoning Valley. As usual, I am in the studio this morning with my co-host and husband, Handsome Jim. Good morning. Good morning. Well, I'm going to be boring again today. Are you? Okay. We're, we're good with that. We'll just hop right into real estate. I think that's how you like it best. Mm. If I just sit here and look pretty. Okay. <laughs> no arguments or nothing. I'm not going to argue with you today. There's no point. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, just, away. I'm going to be very agreeable today. Oh, well, why? Why not? I don't know. We're on the radio. We're supposed to argue. Even even my answer to that was why not. Like I wasn't just like, oh, because. <laughs> I, I can't. I, it's not my nature. All right. That's funny. So what do you want to talk about today? Uh, well, you know, I was thinking we should talk about buying first renting. Look at you knowing the topic. I, like this. <laughs> I usually have to surprise you with it on air and then see if you're it's, able to give a couple of minutes. It's more fun when you surprise me. Okay. This is just boring now. All right. So Jim is correct. Our subject of the day is renting versus buying. So I did some research on this. Okay. Read a couple of articles, printed a couple things. Okay. You'll never believe what they say. That you should probably buy instead of rent. Bottom line, yes, folks, you should buy instead of rent. So we're going to talk for the next half an hour, but to sum it up, you can quit listening right here. <laughs> this is the That's answer. it. <laughs> so um, real estate is, of course, something that you should buy. It is the only true way to build real wealth, um, and it is provides security and everything for your family as well. So mm -hmm. if you're thinking about buying or selling a home, you need to give us a call at 330-717-268. You can call or text again. That's 717 2689 or visit us online at kellysolder.com. That's kellysolder.com. Okay, so we're going to hop into this. This is crazy, all right? Okay. So I looked at a couple different articles, yeah. and one says that wow. it is better to rent than to buy. Wow. In and the next cases, article says it is better to buy than to rent. They said the exact opposite things. Do you believe that? I feel like it's different for different people in different situations. Why do you feel like that? Well, because I feel like not everybody would need to buy. Let's say, for example, let's um, you work for a large corporation, you get a job transfer to mm -hmm. um, a big city. Okay. And you're probably going to be there for a long time, but it's a new place, so you're not familiar with it. So sometimes just jumping in and buying in a market you don't know or understand, True. I think could be risky. So I would rather, if it were me, I would rather rent for a year, get to know the area and the towns and you know the school districts and stuff like that, like make it my home so that I understand what and where I'm buying. That's exactly one of the points on here in favor of renting versus buying. So say you're moving into a new area, you've got a job term. transfer, you've got whatever going on in your world that puts you somewhere new. Um, as you get to know the area and as you get to know your position and as you get to know your life and figure out if that's somewhere you plan to be long term, then yes, for the short term, you should rent while you're figuring those things out. Right. Long term, definitely buy. Okay. <laughs> um, so they also say on that same line of thought that we were talking about as far as relocating and things like that, uh -huh. that um, the claim here is that if you get a, one of those quick, like all of our GM guys got those quick, like, hey, you got to be there in two months. Right. Um, so if you have a job that may be relocating you, that you may have a short window of notice for relocation, that, that it may take a while to sell your home. And so oh, you could be true. stuck with your home here and needing to be moved somewhere else. And so they're saying if you think that, you know, your job is not stable to keep you where you are, then it's another pro for renting is that you don't have that house tying you down. Right. So there's another thought on that. The, the, those are really like, when you really think about it and you break it down as it comes down to long term, mm -hmm. like you said at the beginning of the show, really one of, the, there's a handful of ways to build major wealth in this country. Real estate is one of them. And if you want to build wealth, this, you need to purchase your home. Your money has to go into something that comes back to you. Well, so while we're talking about money, get this. Okay, I got it. One article <laughs> says 
literally from from the headlines of the article mm -hmm. buying is cheaper than renting let me flip over to the other page it is less expensive to rent than to own what so, <laughs> so where's the truth in that jim so it can go both ways the difference between renting the difference between renting as opposed to buying so if i rent an apartment is going to be different than if i rent a home true so so what if we're talking apples to apples what if we're talking about a three bedroom hundred and fifty thousand dollar house 1700 square feet with a garage in a nice neighborhood in boardman renting versus buying which one's cheaper renting i mean buying <laughs> <laughs> say it again jim buying <laughs> So what happens, so on a rental on a property like that in the greater Boardman area, like pull up rents, you're probably almost close to $2,000. Right. You know, a month just to give someone else your money. Right. So, so I'm 100% with you on it. Now, what they're saying from the renter side is they're saying, oh, you don't have to put 20% down. Oh, you don't have to pay the HOA fees. If the furnace breaks, you don't have to pay for that. You don't have repair expenses. Um, in the first couple of years of your mortgage, you're gonna pay, be paying more in interest than equity. So that's their argument on the that's why true. they say that renting is cheaper than buying. Those are true statements. And if you only plan to be in an area or a, a home for you know, a short amount of time, like a year, or I wouldn't go longer than two, they're correct. However, in the long term, if you're gonna be there, most people move on average, what, seven years? Yeah, four to seven. Yeah, in seven years, you can you can make up some ground, Yeah. you can get your money back, and things like a furnace or a roof or something like that is something to protect your investment. So let's say there's a, the cost of living or the cost of homes rise, mm -hmm. which they do consistently yeah. for the most part. So the article about why buying is better is telling us, truly I gave a statistic nationally that rents are 38% more expensive than mortgage payments on the same home. Correct. So that definitely goes in the favor of purchasing. Um, it does say that if you have that 20% to put down, which not everybody does, and there's many different loan programs, you can get into a home with all sorts of different amounts of money down, but if you're putting down the 20% and you're not paying that PMI insurance and you're not paying kind of the, the junk fees, you know, yeah. then more of your money is going towards your equity every month. Correct. Interest rates are low right now, money that you would put into a stock market or put into somewhere else. If you have that 20%, you're like, should I use it as a down payment or should I put it here? Yeah. Um, you know, you're, you're going to be making more money on the long haul with what you're earning as equity in your home than what you'd be making in stocks right now, right? Well, again, I'm a financial analyst today. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> um, so it, it depends. So again, that's not comparing apples to apples. You can't just say on stocks, like some stocks will outperform sure, anything true. you okay. do in real estate, but some won't. So, so. What, what about these like, you know, like we have the little 401k type plans where you just got a little assortment of stuff. You're not really picking them by well, and specifically. Well, this, this week, the stock market went down significantly. And, and housing values you know, went up, folks. <laughs> well, for now, um, it, it's all similarly tied to one another. Mm -hmm. True. You know, if, if the stock market does slow down and, and goes through a recession, we will fill it in the housing market. It's, it's one of those things where it's all over all the economies tied together. Okay, so some more financial sense in purchasing is you do get a tax credit on Correct. your uh, income tax at the end of the year. You get a, yep. a tax credit on what you've paid towards your um, interest. interest in your mortgage payment. Correct. Um, it also, and I, I love the idea of this, a mortgage forces you to save money. So you may not realize that, but you, you have to spend money to live somewhere anyway. You need your box, you need your shelter. It's a basic right. human need. So now if I'm paying rent, I'm just giving that money to somebody else and I'm meeting my human need if I need a place to live. Right. But if I'm paying a mortgage, I'm meeting my human need if I have a place to live and my extra money that's going into my equity is a savings account for myself. Correct, so how we talked before, so let's let's say you buy a house for $130,000 and then you live there for eight years, mm -hmm. 10 years, and you eat away at that, what you owe on it. So let's say 
it's been 10 years and now you only owe a hundred thousand dollars on it mm -hmm. or ninety thousand dollars so you've had somewhere to live you've saved up thirty or forty thousand dollars in equity and correct. in theory your house should be appreciating at two and a half three percent every year right. so now let's say it's been 10 years and now your house is worth 175. okay so now you just you saved to the yeah. 30 or 40 that you saved in your mortgage and you gained an extra 20, 30, 40,000 that your home has appreciated in value. Budget, correct. Okay. So that's the compounding of investing in real estate and why people do it is because it is one of the ways that you can do that. Now, if you own a rental property and you're charging someone else's rent, not only are they making the house payment for you and building your equity, they're giving you cash flow in some cases. So let's say, Again, like you said, they said the average rent is 38% above what the mortgage is. Mm -hmm. So not only are, are they paying down the property and building the equity for the owner, right. the owner is also getting an additional 40% every month in his pocket right. that he gets to keep and the growth of the value of the property. And it increases your net worth and everything else, right? Correct. So. Now, Big time. That, that's Love one of those it. things where you stack money on top of money on top of money that grows value and produces for you. So okay, it's so pretty cool. in the argument of renting versus buying, let's talk about stability. Oh, so, so <laughs> I I have a couple kids. I need a place to live. I want my kids to have a stable life. I want them to go to the same schools and Correct. feel safe and secure and that sort of thing. So um, I buy a house. I know that as long as I make my payment to the bank, it's my house. Nobody's going to come in and tell me to move. Correct. Um, where if you're renting and the owner decides I'm selling this house, they can tell you to move. Yep. Your lease ends. They don't have to renew your lease. Correct. Uh, their sister decides she needs a place to live and they say, hey, you're out. I'm moving somebody else in here. Yep. Or they just plain don't like the way that you live or take care of your house and they don't renew your lease and ask you to leave. So you have some uncertainty when you're renting as to will I always be able to rent here? Correct. Correct. So. Because you don't own it, you don't have the final say in it. Mm -hmm. So that's the scary part about renting, in my opinion. I mean, don't get me wrong, we've rented. We, yes. When we first got married, we had an apartment and you know, it served our purpose at that time in our lives, and I loved it. Yeah. You know, it, it was really cool to have our own place, and, you know, when we got home, it was you and me. It wasn't now, mom and dad. So, so you're talking about when we were, like, babies, and we got married, and we were renting yes. an apartment. <laughs> yes. There was a phase in our life where we had moved and moved and ended up renting for a little while with our kids, and that to me was much more stressful. So the first yeah. time when it was you and I and no kids and we were young and we didn't know what we were doing and we were wait, excited to just have a place. Because our parents had homes if there was an emergency. Right. So the first round of renting as a young adult was fun and exciting. To me, the second round of renting as a parent myself, um, it was stressful on me without thinking about it day to day, but, right. but you know, um, if, if your rent's a couple of days late, what are they going to say? Where versus if your mortgage payment's a couple of days late, you already have your mortgage documents, you know, you know, I've got a late payment on these days and you know, yeah. you know what's going to happen and you know how long you have till things happen. Um, even let, you know, the control over the property, you know, I want to remodel the bathroom or paint a wall or things like that. So freedom, I guess, yeah. in, in a home that you own. Yeah, you want a dog, get a dog. You want to put up a fence, put up a fence. You want to paint the bathroom, you want to knock down a wall, you want to do whatever. These are all things that you get to do. Mm -hmm. You're renting a home and you think the kids want a pet and then you look at your lease and it says no pets, you know. Yep. Or maybe you're allowed to have a pet but now you want a fenced in backyard for your pets. But do you want to put that money into somebody else's property? And are you allowed to put up a fence even if you wanted to, right. you know. Right, you have to get clarification from your the owner of the property. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. yeah, it's pretty crazy stuff. It is. It is. Um, we talked about your mortgage payment being tax deductible. I love that. That's a nice part. Um, creating your dream house is another benefit, which is some of that freedom that we were just talking about. So right. if you wanted to add on to it and things like that. And as you're doing those, um, an addition onto your house or a home improvement or updating kitchen, things like that, not only as a homeowner do you have permission to do that, but you also are now building more equity in your home because not right. just the market appreciating the value of the house, but now your sweat equity and the money that you're putting into the house is 
appreciating the value of the house. Correct. Correct. <laughs> 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 I'm going to do all the talking today. Too. Listen, I'm going to be agreeable today. <laughs> <laughs> You're a pain in my butt. All, all right. right. I've got a couple more ideas here, more things that I want to talk about on this subject. And we've got to talk about our home picks of the week. Um, if you're picking up the, what is with the jaw dropping? That's I so exciting. I didn't know if we had home picks of the week. We do. If you're looking at the front page of the Vindicator today, one of your last few Vindicators, you're going to notice yeah. our house on Detweiler, so we're going to talk about that one. So awesome. we'll do all that after the break. Right now, if you've been listening to our debate and you're thinking, should I rent or should I buy, you certainly want to buy and you want to give us a call or a text to do that at 330-717-2689. Or visit us online at kellysoldit.com. We're going to take a quick break, and then we'll be right back to carry on. Welcome back to Real Estate Radio with Kelly Warren and Associates, where we're in the studio talking about real estate right here in the Mahoning Valley. And this morning, Jim and I are discussing renting versus buying. We have already concluded for you that buying is much better option and that you should all do so. Of course, and you, of course the realtor said you, that. <laughs> I have no vested interest in your home purchase. <laughs> I'm kidding. I certainly do. Um, but not just for that, buying overall, as I've got lists of things to talk about here. I actually have, you don't see my stack of paperwork, but I have eight reasons why renting is better than buying. And I have 23 reasons why buying is better than renting. So right there. My little tally marks, buying wins. Um, you want to visit us online at kellysoldit.com or give us a call or a text at 330-717-2689 um, to purchase any of these properties. We are going to jump into our home picks of the week, and we're going to talk about real estate. Um, why are you looking at me like I that? thought we were going to finish our debate. No, we talk about our houses, and then we finish our debate. More like information on buying versus renting <laughs> after these houses. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go with the other one first. Okay. Sorry. Well, so I, I gave you a little yeah. teaser. Um, front page of the Vindicator today. A um, little nostalgic because that's one of your last Vindicators. So, hey, it might become a collectible edition. You should save the home <laughs> section with Detweiler right on the front. <laughs> Too awesome. <laughs> um, that's not the one in my hand. You told me to go with the other one first, right? Oh, I, yeah. I want oh, Detweiler yeah. first. Oh, you want Detweiler okay. first. Okay. I have Detweiler. Okay. See, good. I know what I'm doing. All right, this one is 9175 Detweiler Road in Canfield. Um, beautiful It's estate. one of my favorite houses. Yes, this is a, a beautiful estate home. Um, absolutely gorgeous when you pull up to it. You pull up to a beautiful long driveway. Just These little with, cute street lamps. Yeah, with the little, they look like those gas lamps yeah. like in the south. So really cool. I absolutely love that. It has that turnaround driveway up at the top. Mm -hmm. So it's gorgeous. Um, this home is four bedrooms, five baths. It has a total of 15 rooms. That's a lot of rooms. It is. I, I keep telling my kids I only need like three technically. Right. Who's so. going to clean them all? Right. Right. <laughs> but that is awesome. It is a beautiful house. Um, let's see here. Five car attached. Five cars? Attached. Yes. There, five detached. cars. There's an attached garage and a second okay. detached garage. Five cars total. See, that's confusing in that write-up. But yeah, right. I, I knew that there was a five-car garage and there's a barn uh, with horse stables. Yes. To make it to the pond. Yes. So all kinds of cool stuff. You it could has, fence in that area around the barn if you wanted to. So this estate actually has some really cool stuff. It also has a tennis court, mm -hmm. which I think is the coolest thing ever. I played tennis when I was a boy. I cannot imagine you Me out playing and my brother tennis. Jeremiah would play tennis okay. in Levittsburg down on, I don't even know the name of the street, but they had tennis courts down in this neighborhood that we used to live in. Okay. And we would play tennis and it was exhausting. That is a <laughs> yeah. crazy It's a sport. great workout. If you want to be an <laughs> active person, Detweiler may be the home for you. Yes. So that's awesome. This also has And if you want to be the lazy person, this house has in the basement a theater room. Oh, yeah. So, and a bar. Oh so God. you could go either way. Uh, or you could do both. Take a swim, <laughs> play some tennis, watch a movie, I didn't have a talk drink. talk about the pool. Okay, go ahead. Talk so about the pool. That's my favorite feature. So it has an indoor swimming pool, which is awesome. Um, so the best thing about Northeast Ohio is it's so beautiful. The worst thing is you can only use a swimming pool three months out of the year. 
Well, if it's indoors, you can use it 12 months out of the entire year. All year year. long. That's almost the whole year. This is commercial grade construction on the pool edition. It is a huge room. The pool room is 50 by 80. That is a lot of square footage. Yeah, that's nuts. They have a pool table, a billiards table in there that like it gets lost in the immense size of the room. Like normally that would take up an entire room and I'm always like surprised by how small it looks in there. So the cool thing about this one, you'll never guess. What? It is officially under a million dollars. It's 9.75, no wait. 975,000, yes. <laughs> very good. 975,000 buys you 9175 Detweiler, all of that stuff that we told you about, six acres, how many square feet? Like 8,000 square feet? Yeah, total like insane. 7,800 square feet. Yes. So you That's want awesome. to own this home. You want to check it out online at kellysoldit.com. You can view the interior and exterior pictures of the property. You can take one of our 3D virtual walkthrough tours. And you can give us a call or a text at 330 717 2689 to schedule a private showing. Or kellysoldit.com. Yes. <laughs> okay. So I'll do mine. I have 126 Mill Run in Liberty. Uh, this house was just reduced. We are at 144,900. It is Liberty Schools and Gym. It backs up to the golf course. Nice. Um, Young Sun Country Club is right in the backyard. Nice. So if you want to be watching people play golf as you sit outside and have your coffee, this is the place to do it. Um, about 2,000 square foot. It's a split level house, um, three to four bedrooms, three on the upper level, an additional finished room, which can be the fourth bedroom in the lower level. Um, it does have uh, lots of upgrades, including newer electrical service, um, crown molding throughout. It's really a nice house for 144000 That's crazy. Yes. It's, and a, it's on the golf course. And it's on the golf course. That's the thing that blows my mind. Like, we only have so many great views. Mm -hmm. And a view of a golf course in Northeast Ohio is gorgeous. Right. So, Can't beat it. Yep, that's awesome. 144000 You want to see this one today. It is available for immediate occupancy. You don't have to wait for people to move out and do all that kind of stuff, too. So if you're in a situation where you need a quick move, this is a great option for you. This is 126 Mill Run in Liberty. Uh, view it online at kellysoldit.com. Kellysoldit.com. I got an echo. I know, right? That's weird. Uh, okay, am I doing this one too? Yes, please. Nice. This is 1061 Sodom Hutchins, Hutchinson's Hutchins, Road. Sodom Hutchins. That's what I said. Sodom Hutchins Road. <laughs> okay. Um, it's in Vienna. Um, beautiful up there. This is four bedrooms, four baths. This is on 13 and a half acres. 13.64. More than 13 and a half. Um, it's got an 8,000 square foot barn. Yes, That's 15 awesome. stall horse barn. So, what, what did you just say? The acreage, 14 acres. Yeah, this giant barn. Acres, yeah. um, this, to me, if you're an animal lover, if you're looking for an equine property, like this is where it's at. That barn is gorgeous, great shape. It has a tack room inside. Um, they've got like a little office area. Um, they've got the the overhead loft storage. It has a riding arena inside. Like it's it's a crazy gorgeous building. And if you're not an animal person and you're looking for a home that has property and has an outbuilding because you have a business from home or you store vehicles or anything like that, you know, it doesn't have to remain a barn. The building is That's a structure cool. that can be anything that you want it to be as well. Yeah. So if I own like an RV, a boat, couple trucks. Yeah, you know. and then you can tell all your friends, hey, for 200 bucks a month, I'll store your RV too. Nice. And then you can make some money off your <laughs> property. That's the way to do it. Brilliant. Um, this one is currently listed at 499.9. That was just reduced. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So beautiful home. Yes. That's nice and the one. sellers are motivated. So give us a call for a private showing and make an offer. This one is really a great home for anybody. So yeah. as I'm reading it, I mean, like it, it says everything about it. You guys got to look this one up online. 1061 Sodom Hutchins. You can find that online at kellysilver.com. Cool. All right. We got a couple minutes left and I wasn't done telling you all the reasons why you should buy instead of rent, Jim. Okay. Can I give you some statistics? Oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> these are crazy numbers. Did you know that 72% of pet own, of renters are pet owners and more than 50% of rental homes don't allow pets? <laughs> That's so messed up. So if you love your pets, you gotta buy a house. Um, here's some craziness. You'll be more politically active if you're a homeowner. Really? It literally says that. It says that homeowners are 16% more likely to vote in a local election than renters. Oh, that makes sense because, <laughs> like, the taxes and the property taxes affect them. 
Okay, so check this out. Um, children of homeowners do better in school. Huh. 7% higher in reading and 9% higher in math, children of homeowners versus children of renters. That so if you weird. want your kids to be smart, buy a house. Who, who, I, I love these who, numbers. Where like, is this coming from? <laughs> this is coming from... <laughs> what article did I print? <laughs> right. I feel like some dude just said, here, let's make up some stuff. Oh, stuff. Kelly, Kelly loves these stats. 23 scientific reasons why owning a home is better than renting. Is that, that was found right on the interwebs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On the interwebs. I got more for you. Your kids will behave better. Uh, not my kids. <laughs> <laughs> children of homeowners exhibit 3% less behavioral problems than children that's, of that's, renters. That's such a huge gap. I know. 3%. <laughs> if Matthew was 3% better, imagine the life we could be living. <laughs> I don't even know how you measure the percent of betterness of your child's behavior. Man, you can just find anything on the interwebs, can't you? <laughs> but I love it. Well, hold I, up. I feel like we're giving you too much power by letting you use the internet. Hold up. Um, you'll feel better about yourself. Why? 18% of homeowners are healthier than those of renters. That makes no sense. Jim, I, I'm like... I don't know. This isn't even Wikipedia, so this is uh, real stuff. I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm falling for all that. All right. <laughs> You're crazy. Reason number 23. You'll have something to pass on to your children. If you're renting and well, you die, you leave. You wow. have nothing to give them. That's what it says. That's way, that's way where bring, it ends. Way to bring down the, the 90% show, Cal. <laughs> 90% of renters <laughs> agreed that a home was something they could pass on to their children. Well, correct. <laughs> so, off, if you want to have a legacy to pass on to your children, you, you have a home that you buy, that you pay off over years, that appreciates, that you put some extra value into by remodeling and updating, and now it's worth millions of dollars, and you leave it to your children when you move on. Awesome. There you go, folks. Great, great show, Cal. <laughs> Next week, we'll do 23 reasons why. <laughs> the internet says. We should just start our show with the internet says. I, I, I can find a fun fact every week. It'll be good stuff. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in, for having some fun with us. But in all reality, folks, buying is better than renting. And we would so love to help you out with that process. So if you're thinking about moving this year, give us a call or a text at 330-717-2689. Mention that you were listening to the show, and we'll make sure that we get you the free moving truck for your move as well. You can find us online at kellysoldit.com, or you can give us a call or a text at 330-717-2689. We'll be back next week. Thanks for listening.